श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः अनधीत्य महाभाष्यम व्याख्यातम यदनुग्रहात वंदेतम विधिना सत्यनिधि सज्ञान सिद्ध विद्यापीठ विधाता विद्यावारिधि चंदिर विद्यावत्सल वंदे महामहिम सद्गुरु श्री गुरुभ्यो नम इन द सेकेंड चाप्टर ऑफ सत्यनिधि विलास ग्रंथ पेंड ऑन बै श्री श्रीनिवास कवि वी गॉट टू नो इन द इनिशियल श्लोकास अबाउट द इनकारनेशन ऑफ लॉर्ड विष्णु एज कृष्ण हिज बर्थ हिज मिराकल्स रुक्मिणी स्वयंवरा एंड हाउ ही अलॉन्ग विथ भीमसेन देवा दे रेड्यूस द बर्डन ऑन द अर्थ भीमसेन देवा वॉज द इनकारनेशन ऑफ वायुदेवा इट सेल्फ एंड लेटर द थर्ड इनकारनेशन ऑफ वायुदेवा एज मध्वाचार्य हिज बर्थ on this mother earth and how he was advised by lord vedavyasa to fulfill the purpose of his birth madhvacharya he advised narahari tirtha he ordered in fact narahari tirtha to bring him back the idol of idols of mula rama chandra and goddess sita devi and narahari tirtha followed the orders at by his guru he stayed back at parashurama kshetra he served the place over there and with the request of the king susharma he got the idols of mula ramachandra and goddess sita devi and in turn submitted them to madhvacharya <clears throat> madhvacharya had four shishyas namely padmanabha tirtha narahari tirtha madhava tirtha and akshobhya tirtha and among them padmanabha tirtha was the eldest so when madhvacharya left for badri in his final stages padmanabha tirtha he shone like a bright sun and he ruled the entire vedanta samrajya he carried on the legacy of his guru madhvacharya he traveled to many places and started spreading the philosophy of madhvacharya preached to him padmanabha tirtha gave us two two beautiful granthas one is satarka deepavali which is actually a bhashya to uh, paravidya brahmana sutras and another is sanyaya ratnavali which is actually a commentary to anubhashya when we look at these two granthas it seems like the matters the vishayas in these granthas they actually seem impossible for common people like us to understand it seems like as if lord sheshadeva should he himself should come and explain to us the meaning of these granthas in detail such was the literary skills such was the depth of his literature in philosophy of madhvacharya and other vedanta granthas he with utmost learning and devotion he started preaching he explained the path showed by madhvacharya to us padmanabha tirtha had three shishyas narahari tirtha madhava tirtha and akshobhya tirtha he was he actually was like a king with all the auspicious qualities imbibed in him after shri padmanabha tirtha narahari tirtha he took up the throne padmanabha tirtha he he got the idols of goddess sita devi and lord ramachandra and mula ramachandra and the five vyasa mushtis from madhvacharya all these he submitted to narahari tirtha and narahari tirtha was appointed as a successor to the peetha of this uttaradhimat parampara the the shloka which actually describes about padmanabha tirtha is पूर्ण प्रज्ञकृतम भाष्यम आदो तद्भावपूर्वकम यो व्याकोन्नमस्त पद्मनाभाक्य योगिने लेटर नरहरि तीर्थ हिस् शिष्य ही टुक अप द थ्रोन ही ऑल्सो कैरीड ऑन हिस् ड्यूटीज एक्सट्रीमली वेल एंड ही एंजॉय द यतिकुला साम्राज्य इन अ ब्यूटिफुल मैनर ही वॉज द वन हू गेव अस द आइडल्स एंड टूडे विथ विद द हेल्प विद द सेवा done by narhari tirtha to shri shrimadacharya we are having the pleasure of taking darshan of lord moolarama and sita devi which is actually prayed by lord moola that is lord vishnu he himself we must ex- extremely feel gratitude about ourselves sasita moolarama archa koshe gajapate sthita येनानीता नमस्तस्मै श्रीमन् रहरि भिक्षवे 
After Narahari Tirtha, Madhava Tirtha took up the throne. He took up, he took the position of Guru in in our entire uh, Madhva Samrajya. He, he, the main major thing about Madhava Tirtha is he installed the Pratima of Vamsha Ramachandra Devaru. Even today we can have the darshan of it. This Vigraha can be found even in the mud today by order of many saints and receive puja daily. Later on, Akshobhya Tirtha carried on this legacy forward. He was completely immersed in tapas and had great financial qualities. He defeated many Prativadis and he occupied the Vedanta Samrajya in such a successful manner as to no one could beat him. Few miracles of Akshobhya Tirtha are explained here. Akshobhya Tirtha, during his Digvijaya, he, he actually Akshobhya Tirtha was known for his perfect oratory skills. The way he gave the discourses, people from all the directions, they left their works behind and they came to hear the discourses given by Akshobhya Tirtha. His oration skills were so perfect and he had a deep knowledge about our Vedas and Shastras and our scriptures. He would quote all the meanings from our Vedas and scriptures to give more depth to what he had, what he says, what he gave in the discourses. Once it so happened, he, he defeated the great Vidyaranya, great Pandit Vidyaranya in a Veda Katha. The judge here to decide the, decide the, the winner was Vedanta Deshika. He was also a great scholar. He himself had composed a shloka on Akshobhya Tirtha, which would actually bring the victory of Akshobhya Tirtha. The shloka here is Asina Tattva Masina Parajiva Prabhedina Avaidi Kottamaranya Makshobhya Muni Rachinat. This shloka explains the victory of Akshobhya Tirtha over Vidyaranya. Once it so happened, another miracle happened. Once it so happened, a, a bhakta, a devotee, he approached Guru Akshobhya Tirtha and started weeping continuously. He fell on the feet of Akshobhya Tirtha and he asked him, he literally begged him, begged him to save him from the sin of Brahma Hatya Dosha. Guru Akshobhya Tirtha he simply sprinkled Shankhodaka on him and said that all his sins are vanished. Few people over there doubted the perfect, doubted the power of Akshobhya Tirtha. So what Akshobhya Tirtha did, in order to clear the doubts of the minds of the people, he asked them to bring a simple plain cloth and impose more and more dirt on it. Literally, the cloth turned completely black. He asked the devotees to bring the holy water from all the rivers throughout the country. He sprinkled the holy waters on it, but nothing happened to the cloth. The cloth remained the same dirty. But when Akshobhya Tirtha, he sprinkled the holy water from the Shankhodaka, the cloth immediately turned pure and at once all the dirt vanished. All the devotees admired and submitted their regrets and their respects to great Sri Swamiji and power of his tapas. And one more major contribution of Akshobhya Tirtha to our mat is he installed the Prasanna Venkata, idol of Prasanna Venkata Devaru in our uh, Mula Samsthana Puja which we can even have darshan today. After Akshobhya Tirtha, we all know the main hero arrives and he is Jaitirtha Swamiji. He received the Vedanta Samraja in such a way and all the Sadagama Shastras again and again and reached the topmost position. Jaitirtha Swamiji was very much well versed in all the Shastras and today one becomes a Pandit only if he reads the Grantha written by Jaitirtha Swamiji. He gave us the major contribution that is Sri Nyaya Sudha which is actually a commentary to Anuvyakhyan. The saying goes Sudhava Pataniya Vasudhava Palaniya. It means that either you read Sudha or you rule the entire world which means that reading Sudha is actually literally 
equal to conquering the entire world such is the depth of knowledge depth one can attain in our vedanta studies if he reads sudha sudha grantha not only sudha he composed many other con many other commentaries and many other granthas but the epitome of this knowledge we get only by reading sudha see what happens when when jaitirtha swami ji was shining with all brightness with all prakasha there was total absence of all the other pandits under the vedanta samrajya see when you know when the sun shines due to its brightness all the other stars they lose their capacity to shine which means it doesn't mean that they are invisible they actually are present there but you can't see their brightness the same way when jaitirtha swami ji was ruling the vedanta samrajya there were other pandits of high order but they couldn't shine because jaitirtha swami ji had no comparison nor any gradation to him such was the place he conquered during his rule in our vedanta samrajya <coughs> after jaitirtha swami ji his disciple vidyadhi raja tirtha took vidyadhi raja tirtha took the position of guru after shri jaitirtha swami ji the name itself explains that he actually goddess saraswati devi was on the tip of his tongue he was he had the sweetness and attraction of his speech is remarkable his scholarship in shastras it it bewildered many pandits many pandits of very high orders during his reign such vidyadhi raja tirtha he also did commentaries on the works done by shri jaitirtha swami ji madhya dadvaityandakara pradhyotana maharnisham vidyadhi rajam sugurum dhyayami karunakaram this is the charma shloka of vidyadhi raja tirtha swami ji after vidyadhi raja tirtha kavinda tirtha became the shishya of vidyadhi raja tirtha this kavinda tirtha is actually an another rupa of vidyadhi raja tirtha such was the knowledge and literary skills and oratory skills present in kavinda tirtha swami ji everyone would actually believe that time whoever affectionately admits or ad- and receives kavinda tirtha that devotee would actually become a great gnana jyoti in abundance such was the blessings done by kavinda tirtha to his devotees see wherever the sun goes the area would start becoming bright the same way wherever kavindra tirtha went all the people over there started becoming gnana jyoti started getting abundance of knowledge ab- abundance of knowledge from him this way he preached our philosophy to one and everyone possible for kavinda tirtha vagisha tirtha became the shishya kavinda tirtha he had very admirable qualities vagisha tirtha he shone with his he he shone in this uh, in this world with his reputation with his reputary skills and he was very much popular in his arts and he was known like a chandra in by his vidya he was like chandra shishya of shri vagisha tirtha swami ji was ramachandra yati he was like moon light and he had pure reputation over him vidyanidhi tirtha swami ji was the disciple of ramachandra tirtha and with with vidyanidhi the name itself again he had he had the knowledge as his treasure vidwans in the in the sabha were all immersed by the joy of vidya and and because they felt that the knowledge was dancing at the tip of his tongue such was the blessing of vidyanidhi tirtha swami ji then later raghunath tirtha swami ji who had supreme mind explained about the vast reputation of vidyanidhi tirtha swami ji raghunath tirtha also showed many miracles during his reign once it happened a, de- a very devoted wife on the death of her husband she came to have blessings of raghunath tirtha and to seek permission to fall in fair which is an age old practice which is not practiced today raghunath tirtha simply blessed that lady ashtaputra bhava by the merciful and pious shri swami ji 
by the only by the blessings and by the words uttered by him her husband came back to life and later they were soon blessed with eight sons and even today their vamsha is called ashtaputri and the members of the people even today are present in dharwad and nearby places once ragunath tirtha he was travelling towards the north and while he was passing through the rivers of ganga and yamuna the abhimani devatas the associated gods of the river ganga ganga and yamuna they themselves gave and they sought blessings from ragunath tirtha and in fact blessed him again another time ragunath tirtha started for yatra at that time one of the vyasa mushti disappeared Raghunath Tirtha Swami ji did severe penance and he remained fasting without any food God himself that Vyasa Shila in the roop of Kurma he appeared to them everyone were very much stunned with the power and tapas shakti the penance of Sri Raghunath Tirtha Swami ji Raghunath Tirtha he had the wealth of aparokshak gyana and the vast credit of the tapas shakti in him such was the vigor vigorous qualities shown by him after shri raghunath tirtha swami ji raghuvarya tir uh, raghuvarya tirtha occupied the seat of this vedanta samrajya he had large reputation and by that automatically he got the superior position in this uttaradimat parampara once it so happened uh, raghuvarya tirtha along with all his disciples they had to travel they had to uh, they had to cross the river bhimarati the disciples were uh, holding the sacred uh, puja box containing shri mularama and other deities and they stepped in the river bhimarati then said that river gave way safely the river itself it it actually paved the way to swami ji and all all their disciples when the when the army who are the guardians over there when they tried to catch swami ji immediately the river flooded and they couldn't cross the way cross the river from this raghuvarya tirtha he got the name kaliyuga vasudeva such was the power and the tapas shakti in him Raghuvarya Tirtha tapas itself paved the way to give him one of a beautiful disciple Sri Raghuttam Tirtha Swami ji Raghuttam Tirtha Swami ji the story of him is known to one and all Raghuttam Tirtha Swami ji at a very young age at a very tiny age of 8 years he was ordained into sanyas ashrama his birth itself was a miracle and from the birth itself he started drinking the milk of uh, drinking the milk which was done abhisheka to kurma shale grama <coughs> then where would the power go raghutam tirtha swami ji for the knowledge for the knowledge of raghutam tirtha swami ji who was a great tree there is no comparison at all by this tree flowers came out like, like how flowers emerged or, or emerges out of a tree many granthas and commentaries are g- given by us given by raghutam tirtha to us one of the major grantha is bhava bodha and those who were with pride as pandits had to bow, the, bow down their heads when raghutam tirtha swami ji gave us the grantha bhava bodha we all are very much familiar with his charma shloka bhava bodha kritam seve raghuttam mahagurum yat shishya 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 adhyaha tippanya acharya samunitaha Sam- later vedavyasa tirtha having very good qualities became the shishya of shri raghuttam tirtha swami ji his qualities actually brought an exception to those general people where there were good qualities there were some defects also but swami ji became as an exception he had no doshas at all no defects at all such was the majestic qualities exhibited by vedavya tirtha swami ji later vedavya tirtha obtained vidyadhisha tirtha as his disciple he was a very great tapasvi and a very knowledgeable person it was believed vidyadhisha tirtha swami ji was like a sea 
like an ocean in respect to auspicious qualities in his hands he had the power of chudamani kamadhenu and kalpavriksha in the face he had the chandra in the deha in his uh, body he had mahalakshmi which is handsomeness in the words he had divine nectar which continuously flows the shastras the vedas continuous continuously flows through the mouth on seeing such great mind people felt that all seas have taken refuge with the holy saint vidyadesh tirtha swami ji exceeded the majesty of sheshadevaru supreme yati supreme saint vidyadesh tirtha swami ji exhibited many extraordinary qualities and he won effortlessly pandit rangoji bhatta and many learned pandits of high order he traveled to many places he exhibited his digvijaya over there and he he poured golden rains in the forest of poverty he is known for that even today one who prays one who actually is in deep stuck in deep poverty or a drought situation if they pray if they pray with the pure minds to vidyadish tirtha swami ji vidyadish tirtha swami ji will do anugraha to our satvik souls for vidyash tirtha vidyadish tirtha swami ji vedanidhi tirtha became his successor his shishya the reputed reputation of vedanidhi tirtha is described by bala saraswati in very much detail shri vedanidhi tirtha he describes it he describes this way bala saraswati what he describes vednidhi tirtha's activities as very distinct unique and completely different from the world from the today's world in this today's shastra of grammar that is dictum vednidhi tirtha is actually completely an exception because a person who is devoted to your padas he becomes uttama he doesn't become a madhyama mahan vednidhi tirtha actually gave us a commentary called nyasa which is a commentary for vyakarana shastra this is completely unique and distinct distinct in all the respects the shloka made by bala saraswati is अन्यास वृत्तिस्ते श्रीमद्वेद निधे गुरो यतो युष्मत्दुत्तम पुषो दिस्वे बाल सरस्वती कवि ही प्रेस्ड विद्या वेद निधि तीर्थ स्वामीजी दिस्वे सत्यव्रत तीर्थ स्वामीजी बिकेम द डिसपल ऑफ वेद निधि तीर्थ हि वॉज एन उत्तम तपस्वी प्योर नॉलेजबल पर्सन एंड हईली लर्न man his fame and reputation was like a golden chain around his neck which would never leave him for the learned pandits it was like an ornament on the head and for the or- ordinary people no one could ever reach of having it in their lives such was the reputation held by sri satyavrata tirtha swami ji satyavrata tirtha swami ji was very much proficient in all the agamas and he had well analyzed it he adopted all the virtuous dharmas he completely kept himself away from kama krodha and all the other doshas that is actually more important he completely immersed himself in the vairagya he distanced himself from the materialistic qualities materialistic pleasures of this earth and this he dis- he desired to entrust shri mula rama and shri digvijay rama which were all worshiped by the great shri padmanabha tirtha and all the coming successors to occupy the position of this uttradhimat parampara he had steady fame and reputation in all the di- spread over all the directions in the country shri swami ji shri satyavrata tirtha swami ji made up his mind to locate such supreme knowledgeable person as his shishya and to make the successor of this great uttradhimat parampara from this way we get to know in this chapter starting from padmanabha tirtha swami ji to satyavrata tirtha swami ji all only followed the path led by our jagat guru shri madhvacharya he drew the path they all started walking on it and they started to bring all the people to on this path they completely they removed the doubts they cleared the 
certain disturbances in the minds of the people and they showed them they paved them the way to which actually is a path of salvation in the next chapter let us get to know more about the coming successors coming yatis and especially our present uh, protagonist shri satyanidhi tirtha swami ji whose aradhana lies on margashishi shukla dashmi thank you shri krishna arpanamastu